Uh, I can tell you that season two so far, based off of two characters I've looked at, is not nearly as big of a update as I thought it was so far. I thought there were going to be new moves and lots of new things. It just seems to be a minor balance. I mean, minor depending on your perspective. But it's not a huge dark resurrection type of an update. So let's see here. I'll look at Feng Wei. I want to look at Feng Wei. So far, the two characters I picked were Devil Jin and Dragonoff, and both of them had a very short change list. Unimpressive. I mean, you know, I guess unimpressive in the sense of not very exciting. So let's see what this guy... This is short too. Uh, what is this? Opponent reaction on counter hit was changed. Oh, that's new. Is it a counter hit combo? No way, right? Oops, wrong one. No. So the third hit gives you a shoulder if it counter hits. That's a buff. For sure. It didn't do that before. If I could just get it to happen. That's a combo now. Didn't exist before. Good to know. That's a buff. Uh, what is this? This move. Change from minus 15 to minus 26 on block. Oh, it gives a stagger now. On block. It didn't used to give a stagger like that. It used to go through their leg. Okay. So that's a nerf, but who cares about that one? Uh, forward <laughs> three you. back. Forward three plus four back. Block timing slower by five frames? Okay, so they nerfed Kempo <laughs> auto block. You. That's big. You remember when Nii played against JDCR and he was using this to beat it? To beat running two? I don't think you'll be able to do that anymore as easily. They made it so you have five less frames of auto block in your, um, whatever the fuck it's called, backwards Kempo. This got nerfed. And it looks like all the transitions to it also got nerfed. I'm looking at down back, one back, forward three plus four back. So all the transitions to it <laughs> seem you. to have gotten nerfed too. His auto block, basically, got nerfed. Uh, let's see here. Forward 3 plus 4, 4. Opponent closer on block. I see. This used to have some pushback, which made it so that at the tip, some characters had a harder time blocking it. I mean, punishing it. So that got a little nerf. Who cares? Wall bounce move. Gotta check if this is safe. This is really, really good Thank if you. it's safe. It's safe. This is really good. Wow. That's safe. That's super good. That's gonna wall bounce. Turn around, dummy. That's crazy. That's sick. It's safe. So you can just throw this shit out all day, anywhere near the wall, and you'll get a combo. You know? Anywhere near, you're not even near the wall! And it's safe too, let's not forget. I don't know what combos you could get off of this yet, but that is something. Oh, if it's sidewalls, it doesn't bounce. That's pretty interesting. Man, that's four! Okay, okay. That's really good. This is super good. Super good. Because it's not just that it's safe, but you know, this type of character, he has a lot of stuff that he could do when he's safe. 
you know? Like this move and like high crushes and all kinds of shit. He's the type of character, backswing blow, you know? So being safe with him is good. Wow, oh my god. Wow, Harada's finger is erect. That's for sure. Harada's finger is erect. Wow. Okay, okay. Eyes on the prize. So down forward 2-2 is cheesy. Really good. Really, really good. Uh, what else? Down forward 3 plus 4 is now a homing move? That's pretty cool. So if it hits them in the air, which it's not impossible for it to happen. In fact, it does happen sometimes. People jump. When you read a sidestep, they jump sometimes and you kick them in the air. I think it's a corkscrew. How can we test that? Can you make the opponent jump? You can. Hey, get hit in the air, bitch. Don't. There we go. Oh, is it a counter hit launcher too? Oh no, that would have been sweet. If that was a counter hit launcher like I expected it to be, it would have been sweet, but it's not. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, down two. If there are any, like, look, if there's anything that you guys know that isn't on this that I don't notice, you could tell me after I'm done with the list. Okay, I just want to get through this list, and then if you know something more than I mentioned, I'll add it. Just be patient. Uh, down two. Uh, opponent closer on block. I'm so glad I didn't go through these patch notes without the game, and what's the fucking point? Unless you're trying to get views. Right. Uh, down two. But that shit's like work. Who likes work? Uh, closer on block. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Interesting. Easier to punish. Easier to punish. What else you got? Down back one back. We already looked at that. Down back three. Less pushback, right? Down back three. Opponent closer on block. Lots of nerfs. Little nerfs. This might be a big one, though. Back Kempo. I think back Kempo minus five frames on the block. Auto block. That's no good. That's a big nerf. This is whatever. Who cares about that? Back one. Opponent closer on block? Weird. They nerfed the block push pushback on this too. Uh, forward, forward, three. Is that new? That's new. Damn, they buffed this move big time. Really? Pretty cool. Uh, forward, forward three. Recovery for both players increased by one. I'm not sure what that means. Hmm. Um. Opponent reaction on count. No, that's not it. That's not even the right move I read that for. That was forward, forward, four, three. I don't know what that means. But forward, forward, three changed from plus four on block to plus eight. Huh. That's like, this is better than his slash kick now. His slash kick sucks. No range, no tracking. It's no good. But I'm thinking maybe this is better than his slash kick now. If it's gonna counter hit launch, let me tell you why. If you use this move for wake ups, it's gonna hit on the ground. If they get up blocking, you're gonna be at plus eight. And if they try to do a get up kick, you're gonna get a counter hit. So I think that this is a pretty nice buff. I mean, sure he got hit kind of hard, but I think this move will be very strong for Wake-ups. 
If it's gonna launch on counter hit, yeah, that's good. All right. Uh, forward, forward, four, three, change to minus. Oh, damn. This is always minus 14 on block now, too. Damn. He got nerfed. He got nerfed. Uh, during sidestep, opponent closer on block. Damn, another nerf. One, one, two. Oh. What did they do to this? Oh. They nerfed the... Oh. He used to have one delayed one. He doesn't have one delayed one anymore. It's gone. It's gone. You can't do one delayed one anymore. That's fucking super whack. Wow, that's super whack. Wow. Bummer. If you commit to 1-1-2, one, one, it no longer even fucking counter hit knockdown. No more counter hit knockdown. Did you see that? If you commit to 1-1-2, one, one, you don't even get the counter hit knockdown anymore. So all he has is 1-1 one, one with no delay and no option select. So they completely killed the 10-string mix-up completely kill it's dead this is so stupid to do now because it's unsafe and you're only using it as a mix-up with the final hit which is useless wow they and they took out the delay i mean obviously this is not a key core strategy for fang you could go entire death matches without seeing this be a huge factor but it definitely was something that was useful and it's gone for sure it was useful for sure because his jab in general is strong <laughs> thank you poke character obviously poke character is gonna have good jab but mm, that's ugly oh that's rough okay so mostly nerfs for fame mostly nerfs down forward 2 2 is a really nice buff forward forward 3 is also a really nice buff especially for wake ups but outside of that everything got nerfed pushback for a lot of stuff on block got nerfed the big campo block auto block got nerfed all right that's a lot of nerfs. <laughs> Dragonoff and Fang got nerfed pretty hard. Devil Jin's Hell Sweep, minor tweak. Not that bad. Dragonoff's down two is pretty bad though. Big nerf. Who's next? I'm not asking you, I'm asking me.